Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to review Target. Uh, Target was a bearish gap today that failed. So it had a stop in it this morning. I'm going to go over it here on the one minute chart. It didn't do anything wrong into the open to the rally. It set up, it set up, it held, it dropped, and then it was working. I mean, actually, the total move here was. 45 cents it wasn't a huge move but anyways it looked good it looked good look it was going to go look i was going to break the low look good here look good here look good here everything looked great we're just seeing this here now 10.01 yeah see what this should have done is drop right here and keep going at 10. but it didn't do it anyways here it went over the high and so the stop was at 55 for people and some had it a little bit more, but if you moved it up to 60, you still got taken out. Here was it is going over 60. So this was a stop. If you watched it on the 15 minute, you could have reshorted it here late. It is trying to see if it can break down again here now, I don't know where it goes. You could have gotten 50 some cents out of this here after 12 o'clock and it is trying to go now. It just didn't work in the morning. It's very, very rare that things uh, rate well and don't totally reverse swoosh in the morning and, and set up and go and then you're up in it and it looks great, but then it doesn't fall through when you take the full stop. Some people did get out of this with profit this morning in that first drop, but it just really wasn't a big enough move. And now here this is going in the afternoon. It's This was tough today, people. And the reason it was tough is because the gap was great as a short but it didn't have the fast, hard move in the morning. So it was a stop. I don't know if people redid this here later or even here now, this looks good. I mean, this really actually looks pretty good here now for the afternoon. 59. Let me look at this, 60. Wow, is this crazy? It really, really, really is a bearish gap. And if this doesn't break and follow through today into the close in the next two hours, it probably will gap down tomorrow morning and fall. I love this gap today, but it didn't work. And what happened is the selling came into the gap itself from where it closed. It closed at the night and the day at 67 something, I think it was, 66.91. And then it opened this morning almost 10 points down. So all the selling came in into the actual gap itself and then the live morning didn't follow through. But I do believe this is lower in the overall daily chart. And this is going right now. So how will this close today? I don't know. It will close with a topping tail. I don't know the size of the body of the bar. The bar probably will close green, but I have a topping tail, and then this probably continues tomorrow. Very often when I have a gap that rates well per the 26-point rating system, that does fail and, 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 and ends up being a loss that it usually works the next day. And I did call a put in this for people that are in it, so some people probably did the put and got a better price if they waited than in the morning. So we'll see where this goes. We'll follow it through. But Target is a short, but it didn't work today. As a quick day trade, it was a failure. If you did it and you didn't get out in that first little drop, which only a couple people did, I think, it was a stop. So nice, nice gap. We'll watch it tomorrow. We'll follow it through. We'll see where it goes. And we'll look to get something better tomorrow morning. Have a great day, everyone. Email me at thestockswish.com for more information. Um, if you'd like to learn my Golden Gap Method, the class is this weekend, March 4th and 5th. Have a great day, everyone.